Will there be incels in communism? Um, I reckon we'd have like really fucking good sex education whereby people sort of learn how to build decent relationships so they didn't end up blaming their lack of sex on the opposite sex. See, this is where I disagree with a lot of the left. Anti-capitalism is about eliminating economic exploitation. Exploitation and power aren't the same thing. Clearly, we want to get rid of exploitation and we want to get rid of like forms of domination, right? With race, with gender, yada, yada, yada. But these are two, these are, they're related as well, right? Because power overlaps with exploitation. I can imagine a world without the forms of economic exploitation we currently have. Can I imagine a world without power relations where people don't feel envy and pride and malice? No, I don't. I don't think capitalism is human nature. But I do think these other things are human nature, yeah, because we can look back at societies like um, anthropologists, different times, different places, they have these things. But they don't all have the price mechanism and market exchange and labour markets like we do, yada, yada, yada. So um, there will still be forms of suffering under communism, personal suffering, anguish. Maybe that would be the biggest problem of them all. Uh, John Maynard Keynes, Economic Possibilities for Our Grandchildren, 1930, he says, once we have solved the, the economic question of scarcity... Man will be men, women will be beset by their permanent problem, how it is to live, what it is rather, what it means to live wisely, agreeably, and well. So maybe we'd have communism post scarcity, and everyone would be fucking depressed. I don't know. Maybe that's worse. The ex I think the incels' explanation of their involuntary celibacy isn't economic either. You, you, I mean, you read some sort of like funky arguments about I'm economic not, inequality, not, I don't even fuck about incels. where I'm you just have, uh, where they say people on. People on low incomes find it harder to get a wife. And then if you allow for the, the system where you have more than one wife, what's that called? Polygamy? Uh, bigamy. No, I, well, I, sp I suppose bigamy is probably two, isn't it? And polygamy is... I think bigamy and polygamy are the same thing. I think bigamy is two wives, right? Or two husbands. So if you're allowed more than one wife, then rich people end up with lots of wives and poor guys end yeah, up... Yeah, polygamy... Sorry, you're right. Polygamy is like societies where you're allowed lots of them. Bigamy is where, yeah. oh, he's a bigamist because it's a society which only allows mon monogamy and they've got... More than one. But that's not what incels are talking about anyway. I think the incel ideology is the idea that some people are hot and strong and they're not, they're too nice. Give me a break. And so they don't get to have sex. This is like... But this, I think the weird, we I think the weird incels? social structure that leads to these people having these weird funky beliefs, hopefully we'd get rid of in a more decent society. We don't actually need communism to get rid of incels. We could just have... Just go work out. <laughs> go work out. If you're not strong, go fucking work out. It's really easy. You have like ATP in your body. You have hormones in your body. It means your muscles will grow. I think, Just go work out. I think a lot of these guys, I suppose they might go to the gym and start a meaningful relationship and end up being like less fucking weirdo cranks on the internet. Just go work out. You don't need communism for that shit. It's true. And you also, can't like, blame so, capitalism thing, for your voluntary this and celibacy. Like, this thing like where, I've only realised in the last few years and I sort of younger female friends I talk about this too. Just because a man is unattractive and he's got nothing going for him doesn't mean he's a nice person. That's not how life works. It's not like, oh, they have more of this thing, so that means they must have less of this thing, right? Do you know what I mean? Who thinks that, though? There's lots of people that think like that. Oh, this person's really good looking. They must be a bitch. Uh, yeah, no, but hot people are a little bit I don't think that's true. Meaner. I don't think that's true. There is a lot. Uh, it's not quite I don't that think that's true. It's not quite that they're meaner, but they're more likely to fuck you over if you date them. I, I know lots true. of people who prefer to date people who are kind of average looking because they're less likely to fuck them around. But then the average looking people can be the most arrogant because the most people are pursuing them because they, everybody thinks, oh, seven out of ten, I can do that. <laughs> and then they, you know, they have the most demand. So it doesn't make any sense. And do you watch, do you watch Love Island? You no, don't, don't watch, watch Love Island, Island, do you? I don't watch fucking Love Island. Because on Love Island, the ones, that, like the hottest ones who are always looking for the hottest one. Yeah, but that's Love Island, they are... Michael. That's, not, no, so, no, that's but, not the real world. But it is a lot like the real world, Aaron. Hot people are a bit meaner, but like, no, 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 and they get away with it. No, 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 no. It's like, like Nietzsche on resentment, right? So it's the idea that you turn a point of weakness and vulnerability into a point of strength. Eric Fromm talks about this in *The Fear of Freedom*. And so what they do is they say, "Well, actually, this thing which is really fucked up and a point of anguish for me, I, um, I transvaluate it as Nietzsche would call it into actually something good." And pure and this suffering was for a reason to make me a better person than this other person no the suffering was for no reason whatsoever it was completely morally neutral you were born less attractive than this person deal with it go to the gym you know have a nice haircut wear some nice clothes maybe with a bit of luck a bit of personality some good jokes 
you'll be better than this person. <laughs> that shit thing in your life, it doesn't give you some moral worth. It's just shit. I'd love to be six foot three and not age and have beautiful teeth. When I was 13, somebody punched me in a rugby match and they're fucked up. Okay, that's life. Deal with it. Night Stark has asked if under communism all gyms will be free, they should be free already. I mean, we only need social democracy to have free gyms and free swimming pools for everyone. I think that should be in the le- next Labour manifesto. Yeah, no, we need to nationalise um, Pure Gym. Yeah. Fully automated already, right? It is fully automated, yeah. It's fully exactly automated right. already, we're there. It wouldn't cost much to run. We're there. A Pure Gym and a pub on every corner. Can you imagine? I'm just... I'm just I don't think we've got time to take many more, have we? Nice guys finish last. Trotsky. <laughs> they do. That's quite funny. Nice. I don't. I, I, this is my one piece of advice to like my young, young female, younger female friends. I'm not going to say it to an older woman because they'd be like, Aaron, you fucking, I'm older than you. Shut up. Don't ever trust a man who thinks they're a nice person. Never. They'll fuck you over. They will fuck you over because they believe that they're absolved of patriarchy. They don't think they participate in it because they're so nice. Bullshit. 